Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to our in-action video of Swords and Poker's Adventure. This is appleandapps.com and if the name is familiar it's because Sword and Poker and Sword and Poker 2 are available in the App Store and this version is published by Konami but it comes from the same developers and so if you've played those games you're pretty familiar as the base mechanics aren't that different it's more just kind of uh, polishing things up and just uh, making it for present day devices and so the main idea is that you start with nine cards on the screen and you add cards in to make you just are adding two at a time to make hands and the better the hand the more damage it does to your enemy so two pairs are going to do more than a single pair to deplete the enemy's health before they deplete your health. And then also once you get to the end of a hand, you can set it up so that you have multiple damage points that they have us trapped in. You have to make a hand in this vertical column, because even, that, even if you would have three kings down here, this is the column that matters. But then it lets you create any other hands you possibly have and fill out the board. And so that's how you complete one particular match. And now let's advance to aim for this treasure chest right here. Then you see that each battle is going to cost energy. And that's really the main kind of free-to-play mechanic and the major difference with sword, swords and poker's adventures. I don't know why the sword is plural, but whatever. Deal with the names. Create a straight right off the top. That's nice. Oh, how nice. And so the power of your hand is going to be the biggest determinant of winning, but you'll also be able to upgrade your sword and your attack power as you go. There's a big, huge uh, world to explore with multiple zones of multiple enemies, and we're just right at the beginning. Actually, I can create a flush. Excellent. Almost missed it. The quicker you get through the enemies, the less damage you're going to take. And then you're going to use the same health throughout the entire level as you're taking on multiple monsters. And again, it just comes down to your knowledge of pair, two pair, three of a kind, full house, straight flush, four of a kind. And then straight flush, royal flush, all that good stuff. And as you go up, it's going to be worth more and more, depending on the hands that you can pull off. And then there's also some areas where you might want to save your cards for later on and hope that the enemy doesn't use a particular column or row. Like right here, they didn't use this, so the three and the four can be combined the beast and the two and the joker. And so you're always going to have four cars in the hole to use at any given time. And then each zone, you're also going to have the option to replenish your health with this token in the bottom right. And 
also the way this hand is set up. Pull out the nice straight right off the top. And so you're also going to have magical abilities as you come along. That includes what they just pulled off on me. So you want to balance that. And so there's a lot of unlockables as you go. And this is essentially what you have to expect if you decide to pick up Swords and Poker Adventures yourself. It's free. It's universal for all iOS devices. And if you like either of the other Sword and Poker, more of it is definitely a good thing. You see a boss battle now. It all comes down to really using the strategy of playing the best hands that you want. Enjoyed our Apple and Apps in Action video. We'll talk to you next time as we round out. Right. Seven of Hard to Go so straight. Pleasure. how you complete a particular zone right here and then each zone also has a few different missions get any and you earn some good uh, coinage you see you can get new swords and weapons and all that kind of good stuff so you can see big huge world we unlocked a new zone and we'll talk to you next time